Thank you for taking some time to talk and talk about your smart body, smart mind, SBSM experience this past year. So I've been thinking about it for a while. So I do see a somatic therapist mm -hmm. and I wanted something that complemented that, that I could do at home. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, and it was this time last year, so I actually lost my dad to cancer. Mm -hmm. And um, I was, so I'm from the UK and I'd, I'd gone back and it was actually, I was sat with my mum and sister just after the funeral and um, I was understandably wasn't feeling good, mm -hmm. was feeling a lot of grief. And then I was like, I'm going to do something for myself. I was constantly scanning for threats mm -hmm. all the time, um, like I didn't sleep. Even back last year, if we were having the same conversation now, my mind would have been running through, oh my gosh, what have I said? Mm. What? How is she going to respond? Like it, it was just constant in my head and just constantly scanning. Yeah. I wasn't able to have fun because I was constantly looking for threats. And then just, and it, it wasn't like it just switched off and I, I noticed yeah. it, but all of a sudden I would just sit down and be like doing like my orienting around the room. And, and, and then I was just like, I don't have to worry. And, <laughs> um, and all of a sudden, like I, and it was always there, but it was just masked with the hypervigilance. But I became more articulate as well because I wasn't as able to concentrate on conversations with people. Yeah. There was a connection that was different. Yeah. Doing this work mm -hmm. helped me to then be present in my therapy. So it's actually, yeah. this is kind of like the foundational thing. Um, so you could even do this before you embarked on a journey mm -hmm. with someone. And um, my therapist, um, I don't know how long it was into it, but um, I started going in and she was like, Hayley, <laughs> like, look at you. Like, you're, you're looking radiant and you just look like this, like, weight has come off your shoulders. And because and I was very open with her about what I was doing and... Mm. She could just even see and feel my energies changing. And then we were able to get into that like really deep core stuff then. So yeah, I was walking around pretty much like just a head just floating around in that. And mm -hmm. um, because I was actually really dissociated from my body, yep. just because my body, um, for me, when traumas happened, that I dissociated because it was safer than feeling what was happening and um the orienting just brought me into my body for the first time and don't get me wrong there are parts that are still quite numb but um sure. like the one day I was cleaning my teeth yeah. and all of a sudden I was like oh my gosh I can feel my feet and like it sounds really like weird to say but like I I went into therapy like that week and I was like, oh my gosh, like I felt my feet, like whilst I was cleaning my teeth. And, um, and like myself and my therapist both had tears in our eyes oh. because we realized that my body is starting to feel safe enough to be present. And, wow. and it, it's just beautiful. And I'm feeling a little bit um, sort of choked up in a nice way. But yeah. um, we both identified that I'm finally feeling like I'm able to live now. Mm. and that my body is coming back on board and that's what the programs con well SBSM has contributed to my mm. life which is huge and I don't think you can put a price on that mm. really um mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm so grateful mm. thank you for sharing that and that is a question that a lot of people have is it's a lot and it is it's a it's an investment um yeah. So for someone who is sitting there wondering if they should, because this is going to be a stretch for them, um, what would you say to those those folks who are kind yeah. of on that on that fence? As it sounds like you were at one point too. It's an investment, but it's an investment for me. And I think that I had that mindset that mm -hmm. this is something that I'm doing for for myself now and. 
all the money I was like, I was going to like dietitians, naturopaths, mm. like my cupboards up there is just full of all of these different supplements, <laughs> which none of them were ever working. How was the pacing for you? Honest and with all honesty, how did you move through your first round of SPSM this year? I think that I wanted to recover and be well, um, mm whatever that definition was mm-hmm. in my head and I just wanted it straight away and I can remember on the first day that it was um released I like read everything <laughs> like listened to everything and just did yeah. it all straight away and then and it was lovely but it was too much mm-hmm. and then there was just constant reminders throughout that you can go at your own pace and I did that like the first time but then I was like no, because life happens and mm-hmm. doing it gradually was actually better because it meant that I really, because it's not just hearing the lessons, but it's also embodying it. Yeah. And, um, and so once again, like I got that mindset in me that I would do something and then it would give me like a day or so to actually practice the new skills that I'd learned. So I found yeah. that really valuable particularly for when people have experienced trauma and and I can only speak for my own trauma but my boundaries were violated and my sense of control was taken away from me and Mm -hmm. then I was in this course where it was actually a totally different dynamic where me and my body had this opportunity to actually have a say in what felt right Mm. for me and it's been like a great framework for me in all aspects of my life now in slowing down and listening and taking care of what my body needs at the time Mm. thank you when I was watching the videos um a lot of people were saying like oh doing this like I've I've ended up getting a new job and I've I've got a new relationship in my life and and when I started doing the program I was like how is me doing these exercises <laughs> gonna help do that and I was like how? like it just didn't I, I just didn't understand but I trusted the process mm-hmm. and um my interpretation of it is that it's helped ground me, it helps me regulate, Mm -hmm. and it helps me take in what's going on around me. Mm -hmm. And that's the foundation then, which has then helped me engage in my life. So actually, Mm -hmm. I have actually just got a new job. Even I've taken a step up into management where again, because I was so dissociated, hypervigilant mm-hmm. I never would have been present enough mm-hmm. to manage a team before mm. good work because of my own trauma I wanted to rescue others mm-hmm. and I was doing that but um you need to look after yourself first and mm-hmm. so I've taken a step back I'm still empowering people but in an indirect way which is working for me where I'm at at the moment so yeah so thank you I'm really excited beautiful Um, and it's helping my relationships I think because I'm more present to the important people in my life and really yeah the connections as you said I've I've got better connections with people Mm. it helps me make those healthier decisions and discernment on who I want in my life Mm -hmm. Um, and as a survivor of abuse Mm -hmm. That is such a powerful thing because when you have been through trauma, there is always that fear that it's going to happen to you again because mm-hmm. you've, you've lived it. So yeah. it's an anxiety where your anxiety, something might happen. It's the fear it's going to happen again. It reassures me for my future that um, I'm on a trajectory now where abuse isn't going to, it, it was a part of my past and I can move forward now and it's not going to be a part of my future. Wonderful. Wonderful. And a thought came to my mind, so I'll share it because someone else might be listening to this wondering is when there has been a lot of trauma, um, it can almost seem insane to consider that being in the body is what will help the healing happen. 
Yeah. And what you've just said and has, have shared over our time has, it's like the opposite of that. Yeah. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it was trying to think of going in my body because like there's a lot of shame around my body mm-hmm. and because of things that have happened yeah. and like, and going into that pain is a big scary thing, but actually mm-hmm. like our bodies are beautiful and they're here to protect us. And actually our body does know what we need if we can like our mind and body connect to it and to our heart and gut mm-hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, in no way throughout the program that I had to talk about my trauma as well, which I think is another really good thing to yeah. share because it's not about that. It's just no. about getting comfortable with our bodies. I've been able to connect with some of those feelings that are potentially from younger times yeah. Yeah. in a safe way for my body without having to talk about it. So um, it's, it sounds mm-hmm. counterintuitive, really, that you don't need yeah. to talk about it and you'll get the benefit, but it's yeah. actually a nice, safe way. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And it's funny, it's often something I don't ever say because I know that we're not asking people their specific traumas because it's not important in this context. And I think that's a real big shift from classic therapy where you go in with this big story to tell and and then you work through it, whereas as you've learned, we're sort of reverse engineering the process and building up the foundations, as you mentioned at the beginning, so that you can be with whatever is there. Was there, were there ailments physically that you were working with pre SBSM that have shifted that you've noticed changed? Yeah, so um, my skin has gotten a lot better. And I'm not saying that this is like a beauty regime. No, no, no. (laughs) Um, But um, my skin, um, like I look glowing now to people. Um, I used to get like acne and Mm -hmm. um, rashes as well. Mm -hmm. And that's all settled now, which... Mm -hmm did not realize but having learned when we learn about the nervous system and how it um, when it's dysregulated it can impact all of our cells which yeah. cells skin is cells mm-hmm. totally so um that's been really good um i get ibs quite a lot as well um mm-hmm. and it's still not perfect but mm-hmm. because i think i'm still working through things but it's definitely better and Mm -hmm. I'm not really taking any medication for that now Mm -hmm. I don't have as many aches and pains in my body so I um, have Mm -hmm. really tight hips because Mm -hmm. I'm a I clench to keep myself safe Mm -hmm. and um, I'm able to get up without hip pain anymore I don't get pain in my knees which was associated with the hips I don't get constant headaches because my neck and shoulders aren't tight Mm -hmm. and they do get tight at times because I'm not present all the time, but I'm actually able to be like, Oh, I can feel that I'm tensing. Mm -hmm. And so now, and so that's then when I'll do some of the yin yoga Mm -hmm. or, or just some stretching and movement just, to stretch out those muscles which then avoids like the headaches the pain and the the tightness in my body as well um and the other thing breathing you've helped me to uh-huh. enjoy breathing i hated, <laughs> sounds weird, I hated <laughs> breathing wow um, <laughs> even though we have to do it every day isn't that interesting Tell me more about yeah. that. I'd love to hear more about the breathing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when you're scared or you're startled, yeah. one of the responses that we'll do is we'll hold our breath. Mm-hmm. And, and um, again, with that hypervigilance, I was constantly like... <gasps> uh-huh. Yeah. And that was it. And just so that um, the feeling, I wouldn't get any feeling in my body. Mm-hmm. And again, one day I said to my therapist, I was like, oh my gosh, last night I was lying down and I really enjoyed breathing. Mm. And um, mm. she was just like, that's fantastic. And um, it's just so nice now, because again, my body feels safe enough to do it. And of course yeah. we need oxygen yeah. for health. in our bodies, for our health. And um, like being able to 
feel my diaphragms mm. moving and like expanding and, and going in like it's just beautiful and mm. and it's almost like oh and I can lie down now um mm -hmm. like I'll, I'll be lying down doing some of the breathing and it's almost like I can just feel the nourishment mm. traveling throughout my body you're learning about the breath in SBSM but we're not doing breath work per se yeah. and that I think is such a subtle distinction because there's so much breath work occurring right now. And so the, the lessons aren't about forcing the breath, but learning how to be with it in a different way. And that sounds like that's naturally just occurring now in your system. I, I just think it's life changing. Um, it really is. And I, I just wholeheartedly want to thank you and the team because mm. I was trying to learn things on my own and because again some tra people with trauma because if they don't have trust in, in others because mm -hmm. of what's happened they'll try and do things on their own and yeah. I was just trying to read all of these self-help books mm -hmm. and that and you brought everything in together that I really needed and I didn't have to search anymore and try things that weren't going to work and yeah, just thank you. Oh. I'm um, I'm really looking forward to my future now, which is oh. great. And yeah, I'm healthier. And you I are connect. glowing, by the way. I can see the glow even through the computer. So <laughs> thank you. Wonderful. Oh.